And Ashley will be here in a second with uh, Randy and his mother. Would you like a uh, test? One, two, three? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Well, good morning and uh, thank you for coming today. In consultation with the Office of the Chief Medical Examiner, our investigators have received new information regarding the death of Michael Labinjo, 38 years old, of Calgary. He was found dead in his home on September 21st, 2018, at which time the circumstances of his death were not believed to be criminal in nature. We now believe Labinjo's death to be suspicious. Family members reported many of, of his personal belongings missing from his home after his death. A theft investigation has revealed that numerous items and sports memorabilia were stolen from Labinjo's residence immediately following his death. Most no notable are two distinct football championship rings with the name Labinjo written on the side. These rings have not been recovered and photos of them have been shared with the media. We are asking for the public's help to identify four suspects believed to be responsible for the theft of the stolen items and to notify us of their current whereabouts. Investigators believe that these individuals may also have knowledge of the circumstances surrounding Labinjo's death. Suspect of the s photos of the suspects captured on CCTV at the victim's residence can be found on the City of Calgary newsroom. We are asking for anyone with information about this theft and suspicious death to contact police by contacting the non-emergency number at 403-266-1234 or the homicide tip line at 403-428-8877. Tips can also be submitted anonymously through Crime Stoppers. I would like now to introduce members of Michael's family, Randy Labinjo and Margaret Labinjo, who have a statement to share. Thank you very much. My name is Randy Labinjo. This is my mother, Margaret Labinjo. We would like to thank you for taking the time to be with us here today. On September 21st, 2018, my brother, Michael Labinjo, passed away. To all who knew Mike, he was caring, kind, gentle, and a loving person. To me, he was my brother. I love him. When I lost him, I lost a part of myself that I can never regain. I think about growing up together and the things I learned from him. I will continue to remember all the memories we shared together. Mike loved his daughter Haley. She was his world. Haley now has to grow up and experience things without Mike in her life. I can't imagine how hard this has been and will continue to be for her. My heart breaks for her. My mother lost her firstborn son. I see her pain and it makes me sad. She struggles to accept the realization that Mike is gone. No mother should have to lose their son. I love you, Mom. We are asking that anyone with any information about Mike's death, please come forward or call the Calgary Police Service. You can remain anonymous. I would also like to thank the Calgary Police for all the work they have done involving Mike's case. Thank you. My name is Margaret Labinjo, and I am Michael Labinjo's mother. Today, I will not be taking any questions, and please respect my privacy. Michael is my son. He was a brother, 
a father, a uncle, a cousin, a friend to many people who loved him dearly. He was a gentle soul, hardworking, kind young man who knows how to put a smile on anyone's face if they're not having a good day. That is who Michael was. Michael, you did not deserve to die this way. I am going to make sure whoever did this to you are held responsible. I will fight to the end for justice to be served. I love you, son, forever. If anyone have information about my son's death, please pick up the phone and call the Calgary police and let them know. If you are in any way responsible for what happened to Michael, please, I'm begging you, turn yourself into the Calgary police. I want to thank everyone for their support. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll now be able to uh, take any questions. Well, obviously, uh, when we were informed that uh, Michael's uh, personal possessions, including the uh, two football rings, were, were stolen immediately upon his death, um, obviously an investigation occurred. Um, through uh, testing with the medical examiner's office and through other information that we have received, uh, we have now looked at the totality of circumstances surrounding Michael's death and are investigating this as a suspicious death. Uh, we know that there are people in the community that have information in relation to the theft of Michael's personal belongings, as well as the circumstances surrounding his death, and we need those individuals to come forward. So why did they originally consider it uh, just a natural death? Well, it um, <coughs> took a, a long time, obviously, to get the, uh, the results back from the Office of the Chief Medical Examiner, which is, which is a standard uh, procedure. Um, but looking at the review of the CCT footage, uh, and those images have been released, and the circumstances surrounding uh, the theft, and the new information that we received, uh, we are investigating this as a suspicious death. Um, do you have any idea at all besides uh, what you're releasing about public information on the suspects involved? We're hoping that uh, there are people in the community who know who these people are, um, their whereabouts, uh, maybe what roles they played uh, in the theft and the circumstances surrounding Michael's death, and we need these people to come forward and contact us. Has there been any uh, sign of any of the things that have been stolen? Any uh, so far, we have not recovered uh, any of Michael's uh, personal uh, belongings, which are obviously very specific and unique, and we are hoping that there are people in the community who maybe know the whereabouts. Uh, of these championship rings and can contact us. And finally, I, I probably may not be able to discuss it, but uh, was there, it appeared that there may have been a theft or robbery initially that just went wrong in the strike? This is very much an active investigation. Uh, what we're trying to determine uh, is if um, Michael's death was intentional and if that intentional uh, death was, uh, was used to facilitate uh, the theft of his personal items. Uh, we were alerted uh, by Michael's family that several of his personal items uh, had been taken. Um, then a theft investigation was initiated, uh, CCTV was captured, and the investigation has continued. To, continued. Uh, we have received additional information from members of the public that lead us to believe that looking at the totality of the circumstances surrounding his death, that this is a suspicious death. And you said that the rings have not been recovered and other items have not been recovered. Are you able to elaborate on what some of those other items are? 
Um, some other uh, personal items, the items that we're really focusing on are very unique. Um, and those are the rings uh, with Michael's uh, name actually on the rings. We're hoping that maybe a collector, someone may be in possession of these items, uh, not realizing that they were uh, received uh, through a criminal offense um, and to contact us because that theft investigation certainly will be running parallel with our death investigation. Um, I can't comment on, on how he died. This is very much an active investigation, so I want to protect the, that in, uh, integrity. Uh, no, we do not believe that uh, Michael took his own life, and we are investigating this death as suspicious. We know there are people in the community that have information on how he died, and we need those people to come forward. We believe that the, uh, the theft of Michael's personal belonging occurred uh, immediately uh, upon his death, which would have been the morning of September 21st. And those images would have been captured uh, in the early morning hours of September 21st in the residential building where Michael lived. It would have been in the early morning hours of September 21st. Thank you. Any further questions? Okay, thank you for coming and thank you, uh, Randy and Margaret, for, uh, for sharing your thoughts. Thank you very much. Thank you.